If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Be sure to use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG. I come today with another Man 22 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I made 900,000 coins in about an hour and 15 minutes last night here on Man 22. In case you guys didn't know, here on the channel, all I do is post no money for methods so uh if you're looking for coin strength points or xp this is the place to be because like i said all i do is post no money for methods as always if you have any questions on what i talk about in today's video make sure you leave a comment down below and answer your comments as soon as possible so uh what i did was the main way i made these coins was i was doing the training rerolls that came out i am gonna put roll a couple clips right now and do a quick voiceover as just a little summary on how my coin making was going last night and how I was able to accumulate so many training points without spending any coins uh, and you know things went crazy so let me just roll that real quick so in this first part of the pack opening right here from last night I want to show you guys how I actually earned a lot of my training points to allow me to keep re-rolling these packs I had a sequence of three packs and it might be four uh, I think there was actually a Sean Taylor poll like two packs before this uh, which got me some pretty good training points obviously uh, so we get a Joe Mix in there then this one is, you know, it's just another big animation, right? We love to see it. Another Joe Mixon, and then this one is another big animation as well. So, pretty crazy. This is how I earned a lot of my training points, which allowed me to keep re-rolling these packs over and over and over again. So, uh, I think from here I get up to about 90,000. And in this screenshot right here, you guys can see, I actually worked my way up all the way to about 160,000 training points yesterday. So, pretty crazy stuff. Right here in this clip, we are going to see my first LTD pull with Ricky Williams. Sold this card for about 270,000 coins. And right here in this clip, that is about to show right here, I pulled my second LTD Ricky Williams, which sold, once again, for about 170,000 coins. Pretty crazy stuff. Super crazy pack opening. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little summer here. Something kind of new. All right, so as you can see, that was pretty crazy. Now here in this video, we're going to have some fun. We are still going to open some of these packs. We're going to do some training rerolls. Um, also, how I got like this additional 150,000 coins-ish, I did sell a Josh Allen. So I did sell um, my 97 Josh Allen card for about 150,000 coins. So I did make that. But everything else was earned just from doing those training rerolls. So pretty crazy. Uh, you know, you can see I pulled two limiteds. For the remaining uh, portion of those training points, what I did was I actually, uh, for I think it was from like around 100, I, I don't remember the exact numbers because I am i haven't looked at the, the summary yet, what I did, the clips, but I believe I just re-rolled like 120,000 training points all the way down to 50k. And every, uh, every big animation pull, so like 94, 95 and limited time card, I would sell on the market just to make coins from it. So I think at the end of the day, I ended up selling, besides the two limiteds, obviously, that, was, that made up about 500k of my profit. Uh, I pulled, I sold two Tyreeks, and I sold three, four, or five Joe Mixon, something like that. And uh, that's how I made like 900,000 coins. You can't forget that Josh Allen as well. So uh, yeah, I mean, that, it's, that was probably the best day of Mutt I've had all year in terms of packs. It was literally, you know, like 1230 at night. I had just gotten home from being out with my friends. Uh, I was just chilling there. I'm like, you know what? Let me just open some packs. Why not? Now, let me show you guys how I uh, actually got these coins or I got these training points to spend as we get a Richard Sherman right there. So um, remember like the Black History Month cards that I showed you guys that you guys could save to put into a set when it comes out? Uh, I actually quick sold all those cards because I said, you know, what? I'm going to take a risk. You know, part of managing is just taking risks and having fun. And that's what I did. I just want to take a little risk. Uh, isn't always the smartest thing to do, but I did it. And look, I profited 900,000 coins. Did not have to spend any coins at all on training points last night. I was able to make all that purely from those cards that I earned just from playing the solo. So that was really, really, really worth it in my opinion. Uh, we have not gotten a big animation yet, and I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. I'm going to roll this training all the way down to about 10K because I do need to save some of it. Later on today, I'm going to be buying Joe Namath and Max Crosby. So uh, if you guys want to open these packs, I'm going to give you guys two little methods of doing this, okay? Number one, you could just simply hunt for the LTD card of Ricky Williams. You could just keep re-rolling packs like I was in the beginning for LTD Ricky Williams. If you don't want to do that, uh, you could just quick sell every card that's 93 and under. So every 90, every big animation you would sell on the market, every non-big animation, so every small animation, you would just quick sell and keep re-rolling that training. All right, it's pretty much that simple. We need like a 93 right now because th these packs are kind of dry. Last night they were popping off, so. Uh, one thing too, I am a huge believer in the fact that EA kind of tinkers with their odds a little bit throughout the day. So if you see these packs right now that I'm opening are bad, 
I probably would not open them when this video comes out because uh, I'm going to post this video pretty much right after I open these packs. So, uh, you know, later on in the day, I'm going to open one more. Later on in the day, if you see uh, that these packs are good, maybe put it in the comments section, right? Help, help some people out. These packs were terrible, by the way. Yeah, the, these packs were really bad. So last night, they're popping off. You guys saw that. Right now, no go. Uh, what we open? We probably opened 10 right there. Not a single big animation. So that was pretty crazy. Uh, let's go look at the market really quickly and how much these guys are going for just to show you guys how much I made last night The market does go down on Saturdays, but it probably hasn't changed a whole lot If I'm being honest, but if we look at Ricky Williams, I was selling him for about 275 every time last night He's 287. He's actually gone up in price. Wow. So uh, Maybe they have messed with the odds a little bit. He is starting to rise in price now if you guys do pull them today on Saturday Okay, if you pull them today on Saturday My best recommendation is just to hold on to him hold on to him and then wait um probably till later in the week his price should go up at least 50k so if you want to just simply be a little bit patient wait you know a couple days he will go up in price and you'll be able to make more coins just by doing that so that's just a thought you don't have to do that but that's what always happens with limited time cards once they come out of packs for a little while they always go back up in price so just keep that in mind if you want to do it do it if you don't want to don't it's that simple so uh also like with tyreek let's see how much he's going for right now that tyreek card looks absolutely crazy by the way let me just say that right now let me go to program What's this program called? It's called like Backyard. Yeah, Backyard Ballers. There they are. So right here. Uh, yeah, that's about what they were last night. Like 71000 I was selling them for. Uh, and then what's Tyreek? Tyreek should be around 100 That's what he was going for last night. Probably the same thing. Yeah. So he, these two cards stayed about the same. Ricky has gone up in price. So like I said, after I pulled the two limiteds and I rerolled the training all the way down, I, pulled, I, or I sold two Tyreeks and I think four Joe Mixons for about... 70k so uh, yeah i mean that that was a crazy night uh hopefully this is helpful for you guys like i said i'm gonna post this video right after i open these packs so if you see this video right after it's posted i probably wouldn't go and open a bunch of packs from these rerolls because that means the odds are probably down a little bit maybe wait until later in the evening or if you want to be like me open them up at midnight that's what i did right usually packs are trash at midnight i've never had good luck opening packs at midnight but last night they were pretty crazy. So let me give you guys some general things you guys can be doing right now in Men 22. All right, just stay up, up to date with things. You know, stay on top of it. Uh, let's get into it right now. So ultimate season, you guys need just to keep leveling up. That's just it's, it's essential. You have to keep leveling up. Uh, obviously to earn these. Um, the main thing here is to earn these season collectibles to power up your Mark Davenport or whatever the other guy's name is. I picked Davenport because I do. I, I want a better edge rusher. But it's up to you, right? Keep doing this. You earn coins, packs. You know, collectibles, every, you guys already know the deal, right? Keep doing these. Also, something you got to do, you got to power up your cam chancellor. Do these objectives. If you guys need help with these, leave a comment down below, and I'll just explain it to you in a comment. It actually isn't as hard as it might look, um, but I, I just completed all these last night. So, yeah, pretty nice. I do have that 99, gold 99 cam now, so pretty excited to use him. I've already had him gold 99, but I just got the, uh, the, the free safety, strong safety chemistry on him. So, he looks really really good and that card art is amazing by the way that card art is so just so sick so uh yeah that's what i'm just doing right now something you guys can do as well there is a new currency in the game called paint as you guys can see up there if you go to challenges and you go to like the backyard ball or stuff uh if it'll load you guys can actually play some challenges for paint and you then you can spend that paint on players in the shop some of those packs that i just re-rolled like those 87 pluses you can uh, actually re-roll those with paint in the store. So if you guys want to go do that, go ahead. If you plan on using uh, Backyard Ballers cards, maybe go and select or go and play some of these challenges and uh, get this team chemistry right here. This I don't even know, the strategy item, whatever it's called. You guys see that right there. So uh, there's also some free stuff in here, more paint. Uh, Brandon Marshall, I didn't even know he was in this. So that's pretty sick. I wonder what position he plays. He's probably a defensive guy. Probably like a safety because he's pretty tall. So, yeah, feel free to go ahead and play through these. You also get a, a decent amount of XP from playing through these as well. So, uh, you know, just something to look forward to. Something to keep you guys busy. Uh, as always, play your weekend league games. You got to play your weekend league games if you're looking to make coins. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to do my shout out today. Now, in case you guys don't know, I shout out every single one of my comments. All you have to do to get a shout out in the next video is just comment on this one. So, we have two videos to shout out because uh, I didn't do them on the last one because I pre recorded the last video. So, here we go. Here are the shout-outs from the best offense gameplay. We have um, uh, Mr. Guapo Cam. I think I said your name right. Uh, Xavier, that's the OG right there. That's that's my boy Twizzy. Super OG viewer. 
appreciate him a lot. We have my boy Algen Tunser, uh, George Washington, uh, Levi Ezebio, uh Sheldon Hall, Yoke Face, Mupin Fiji, The Athletic Nation, Hunt Awakens, and The Champ. Thank you all so much for commenting on this video. And then we have, uh, let me come over here. We have Hyper012, Mupin Fiji. This is from the, the, the last Quinn video. Uh, the Champ, Mule Dolphin Thing, The Athletic Channel, George Washington, The Athletic Nation, Hunt Awakens, Yoke Face, and Fortnite Gameplays. Thank you all so much for commenting on this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.